Hi everybody and welcome back. What I'm doing tonight is I have a review on this um, Orbital Skill hand sander. Now I'm not really familiar with, I, I mean I know how to use belt sanders and everything but let me tell you um, Orbital sanders are not all made the same. And I got this skill sander at Menards and it was on sale which I thought it was a pretty good deal regular from um, like 32 it was on sale for I think it was like 20 between 20 20 and 25 anyway so this skill sander has a lot of different features and let me tell you I've used them all so on the um, here's what is the sander itself on the sander right here it has this pressure control for when you have to um, press down pretty hard say you have four coats of paint on a board you're gonna want to use this and this feature I'm telling you I had a divot on a board and it works and the light regular sanding it stays green the heavier you push the yellow and the red light will light up and it keeps at a uh, a very constant um, it doesn't lag is what I want to say so it does not lag at all and in this set you get three um, three sand three discs I want to say you get a 120 and 80 and I'm not sure what the other one is like a 90 or something anyway so and you also get this micro filtration and you can see that we've actually used it it really cuts down on the dust a lot and it comes with a six foot cord so you have plenty of cord it's a five inch base sander it has a rubberized grip on the top it has the switch in the front most sanders have the switches in the front, which is handy for um, shutting it on and off. It has a backing rubberized pad at the base of the sander. It also has a two ventilation slits underneath the pressure control um, sign right there, one on each side, and also has um, the cord is very heavy duty. See the end of it? It has that extra rubber. So if you have to tug on it, it's not going to come out. And it's it's really it's made very well, I'd have to say. So the um, bottom of it, I'll show you here in a second. So the bottom of this sander, it has a rubber housing guard for when it spins. See how it spins? That's an extra guard for um, for protection. And then this, these are latch and hook. Hold on one second, let me take that off. So there's the bottom. It is latch and hook. And it stays on there very, very well very very well and it spins nice and smooth has a very nice rotation on it we bought two of them and there I we have had very good luck on them the paper we're using the 80 grit right now lasts really really well I mean you know how a lot of uh, papers you just use them like a couple strokes and the bottom of it starts flecking off like this right here by that eye yeah, so these actually stay pretty well. And you get, this is a 220. You get a 220, a 120, and an 80 inside this kit. So, yeah, so if anybody's looking for um, Orbital Sander, this one is very affordable, and I got it at Menards. And I'm not a spokesperson for this product. I just... As women, we don't always know 
uh, certain products and we don't really know what to buy, you don't always have to buy top of the line. And this is um, very affordable. Like I don't have a lot of money for tools. I love tools, but I would love to buy all different kinds if I could. But here's an, an alternative for a nice um, hand sander and it fits really well in your in your hand too. see how now I have fairly big hands so this one I mean you can hit the switch while you're holding it all in one and it's it's fairly it's fairly light I mean it's an orbital sander so I mean it's kind of it's got a little bit of weight to it but my hand did not get tired when I had to sand the boards for the floor so just want to give you guys some information out there and here's another look at the filtration it's got a filter in it it works really really well you can see we've already dumped it a couple times so yep there you go guys thank you very much for watching oh like and subscribe see you later